it and she's brave. She can be cheeky. Yeah, this is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves it to bite. in the morning. Ooh, very early. Everyone on Big Barn Farm is still asleep. But with the sun rising over the hills, that means... Oh, sorry. Ooh, that means it's time for Lester. <clears throat> it's early morning on Big Barn Farm, and that means it's time for Madame to be milked. Mm -hmm. I hope the farmer where is up. He's late this morning. The Mrs. Chickens come out of their coop to have their breakfasts. Lovely morning. I slept like a log. I lay as an egg. Oh, well done. And even the birds get busy. Lovely day. But no one's got a busier day planned than Digger. He's got so much to do. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Lots of cool, fun, brilliant things to do today. <gasps> Squeeze that brilliant new squeaky toy I got yesterday. Chase a few of my best sticks. Then have another good squeak on my new squeaky toy. Then I'll have a little lie me down on my blanket. And then, if I've got time, I'll try and fit in another go on my squeaky toy. Oh! But it looks like there could be a problem with this plan. My new squeaky toy's disappeared. Disaster! Where could Digger have left his new squeaky toy? He was playing with it yesterday. Oh, the field! <laughs> Not here. <clears throat> Not here! <sighs> After all that running around, poor old Digger needs a lie down on his best blanket. But when he goes back to the kennel, he gets another big shock. Where's my blanket? Now Digger's best blanket has gone missing as well. What's happened? Digger explains about his brand new squeaky toy and blanket going missing. Petal and Gobo think he must have left them where he was playing yesterday. Have you looked in the field for them? Yes! The barn? Yes! Did you look in the farmer's kitchen? I didn't play in the farmer's kitchen! I know. I just wondered what they were having for breakfast. Petal has an idea. Maybe one of the other animals knows where Digger's things have gone. Oh, let's go and ask! Go, 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 go! <laughs> So Petal asks her brothers and sisters. Digger asks the Mrs Chickens. And Gobo... Well, Gobo was on his way to ask Madame, but he spotted a nice patch of juicy grass. Dash joins in the search and asks the Duck Girls if they've seen Digger's squeaky toy and blanket. Not us. We haven't seen a thing. Sorry, Dash. Sorry, Dash. Finally, after they've asked all the other farmyard animals if they know where Digger's toy and blanket are, Gobo and Digger realise... Oh, nobody knows. But Gobo has an idea. Maybe one of the farmyard animals is only pretending they don't know. And really, they stole Digger's toy and blanket. Let's look for some clues. Oh, good idea. Uh, what is a clue? 
Gobo explains that a clue is something that helps to solve a mystery or a puzzle. Something left at the scene of a crime, like... A footprint. Look. Someone's been around the kennel. Hmm. Which animal leaves a print like this? Hmm. What about a horse? So Digger decides to follow Mac. Hmm. Hmm. Is it the same print, Digger? Um, no, not at all. What about a duck print? Um, no, nothing like it. It may be a sheep print. Hmm, no. But the print outside Digger's kennel wasn't made by a horse, a duck, or a sheep. Oh, uh, whose print is it? The print is Digger's. Did you guess? Oh, no. I'm the thief. Um, it was me all along. <sighs> no, Digger, don't worry. Of course Digger's print was going to be near his kennel. So Gobo and Digger are no closer to finding out who's taken Digger's squeaky toy and blanket. Maybe Petal and Dash can help. I've got an idea. So, the farmyard bunch decide to set a trap and leave some of Digger's best ever sticks outside his kennel to tempt the thief. Oh, do you think this will work? Hmm, if we stay hidden under here... And someone comes to steal your sticks, we'll be able to see who it is. And catch them red-handed. Hmm, let's keep quiet, though. Hmm, warm under here, isn't it? Cosy. Hmm. Oh, dear. I think our four detectives have fallen asleep. Sorry, I fell asleep. Mm, me too. Oh, I think I had a little nod off. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> and now they've woken up to another big shock. There's only one stick left. Petal, Gobo, Dash, and Digger are completely baffled. Who's taking all of Digger's things? First, his squeaky toy. Then the blanket, and now his best sticks have been taken. Oh, it's not fair. Why can't they take someone else's things? They've no clues, but Gobo says that he thought he heard something. I thought I heard someone shout, Cor, thistle do. Cor, thistle do? Are you sure it wasn't a dream? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to guard this one. Ouch! A stick isn't the most comfortable thing in the world to sit on. We'll help guard your stick as well, Digger. So the four friends stand guard by the stick. And this time, they aren't going to fall asleep. Let's keep alert. Stay on our toes. <gasps> keep a good lookout. Ooh, they look suspicious. False alarm. But when Digger turns around to check his stick... Huh? Oh, what? Where? Gone! How? When? <laughs> what? How did that happen? Oh, this'll do. There it is again. The sound that I heard. Well, they might not know what the thief looks like, but at least now they know what it sounds like. So... Petal has asked all the big barn farm animals if they'd mind lining up and saying, Caw, this'll do. No, that's not the voice we heard. <coughs> this'll do. <coughs> Sorry, just slipped out. That's not it. Moolala, this is ridiculous. Do I look like a stick chaser? Caw, this'll do. Mm, no. 
No. Oh, this'll do. That's, That's it. it. That's, That's the, the voice. voice. But which one of the farmyard animals said it? Oh, this'll do. <gasps> it wasn't me. Oh, this'll do. <gasps> it's a crow, and that's my blanket. I can see your squeaky toy as well. And all your sticks. They've been used to make a nest. Oh, this'll do. Hello, crow. Uh, excuse me. So, it was the crow all along who was taking Digger's things. But she didn't know they were Digger's. She was just trying to build her nest. They were just lying around. The crow says she's very sorry for the trouble she's caused, and I'm sure she is. She returns the squeaky toy. Oh, thank you. Then the crow returns what's left of the blanket. Um. Sorry. What's going on? Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> 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 the crow starts to return the sticks, but Digger tells her it's OK. She can keep them. Petal and Dash are amazed. They know how much Digger loves his sticks. Gosh, you're really kind, Digger. <laughs> well, if it's going to help the crow build her nest. Digger likes being praised and says that the crow needs the sticks more than he does. Thank you. The crow also tells them that thanks to Digger's sticks, this is the best nest she's ever built. I wonder what this tastes like. Petal, Gobo and Dash are telling Digger how generous he is, giving all his sticks to help the crow. They think he's wonderful. And marvellous. And what else? And kind. Oh. Of course, Petal, Gobo and Dash are right saying Digger is wonderful and marvellous and kind, but it's easy for him to give his sticks away when he knows what is kept at the back of his kennel. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, loads! Come on, this'll do! <laughs> That's all for now. See you again soon down on Big Barn Farm. This is Petal, she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky, but she never play. This is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves to play. And eats all day. Uh, pardon? There's a dinky little donkey named of Dash. If you're in trouble, oh, yeah, in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. In and out the pond. Oh, the gossip, gossip all day long. My dad is French and lovely. <laughs> and we all know who goes cock a doodle doo. <laughs> Mrs. Snuffles and her piglets come to play. <laughs> and on pot, make sure that everyone is safe. <laughs> Who's the tallest of them all? It's the horse. And last, not least, their friends. <laughs> now you've seen them all together. And they love to be together. They'll be friends forever down on the <laughs> 